In this video I'm going to show you how to develop a graphical user interface or uh, GUI applications like this Tetris game that I have here. Um, I downloaded this from the uh, MATLAB Central uh, website so you could get it yourself if you wish. Um, but what I'm going to do is show you how to develop GUIs without using MATLAB's built-in guide tool, okay, because I think that guide tool sometimes generates lots of code that can get in the way of your understanding. Uh, now we're gonna not going to start off with this um, Tetris game, rather we're going to start off with this more basic application, which has all the basic components that you'll see in any GUI, except it's relatively basic so it should be a little bit easier to understand. So this GUI allows me to control the size by changing the position of this slider. So we're changing the size of this uh, ellipse object that I have. And I can also change the color by changing the color in this text box object and then cl clicking on this uh, what's known as a button object. Okay, um, so GUIs are basically just uh, figures, if you like, with objects on those figures. And we have objects that are referred to as control objects, like the slider control, we have a text box control, and we have button control. And then we've got this other object here, which isn't a control object, rather it's an object that's been manipulated by um, the other control objects. Um, so let's just go into the code that I'm using to create um, this GUI. And I'm going to make this code available up at this website here and um, I want to stress that I'm not using guide in this and guide is a is a graphical user interface for developing uh, graphical user interface applications. Um, I prefer not using guide because I, I like to write code uh, at the command line myself and I find it easier to develop uh, once you get your head around some of the basics. Um, now the first thing that you always do when you're creating a GUI is you create a figure and then what you're doing is you're adding objects uh, to the figure. Uh, in this case, I'm going to add a, a, a basic button object, okay? And I'm going to do that using this built-in function of MATLAB called UI control. Now the UI part stands for user interface. And there's lots of different types of user interface controls, such as sliders and drop-down lists and things like that. Um, but this one is has a push button style. Okay. And let's just run this piece of code and we start laying out our um, GUI. And that's really the first stage in designing the GUI is to lay out, which means how to position the objects in the GUI. And we we'll then go through these two other components as we go through uh, the presentation. Let's just evaluate that. And we can see that I've created this figure with uh, a button located at the bottom. And really what you want to get your head around first of all, and this is kind of step one, is how to position objects on your GUI. Uh, so my GUI has this particular area available to me. And you'll see that the when I set up my uh, my button, which was uh, using this UI control function, I've also initialized some other properties associated with the button. The first thing is that I've set up is the string property controls the text that's displayed on the button, and then I'm using this uh, normalized units, and these normalized units refer to or relate to the position property. And it's the position property that specifies where the button is located on your GUI. And you'll see it has four values associated with it. We have uh, a value of 0 0.3, a value of 0, 0 0.4, and 0 0.2. Now, the, the last two parameters control the width, 0 0.4, and the height, 0 0.2, of the button. Um, now, the 0 0.4 is a fraction of the overall width available to us. So the overall width of the GUI area is uh, has a value of 1. And it, this specifying 0 0.4 here means that the width of the button will be 0.4 times the overall width of the GUI area available to us. So as I scale the GUI, the width of the button object still remains at uh, 0.4 times the overall width. Similarly, the height, 0.2, um, controls the height of the button, 
and you can see that that's roughly well it's exactly a fifth of the overall height of the GUI and as I scale this the height of the button remains at 0 0.5 times the height okay um, and positioning your um, objects on the GUI is the first thing that you really need to get comfortable with in order to design your GUIs and it's it's not difficult but it just takes a little bit of practice now the other thing about um, positioning objects is you specify whereabouts on the GUI it's located it's not just the height and the width but also where and the location is specified using the first two parameters of the position property and um, you can think of these two as being coordinates of the bottom left corner of the object okay so the way to think about it is the uh, X coordinate controls the location on the, the horizontal axis okay and the, the second parameter is our Y coordinate which can controls the position of the bottom left corner of the object along the vertical axis. So the fact that we have 0 0.3 first means that uh, we come in 0 0.3 uh, along this horizontal axis. So you can see that's roughly about a third of the way across uh, from the left hand side across the entire GUI object. And we specified that the second parameter there which is our Y coordinate is 0 which means that we go up zero from the bottom which is just exactly at the bottom and it might be easier to understand this if I make a few changes uh, let's change this to 0 0.5 and I'll change this to 0 0.1 okay and if I execute this code now I will add a second button object and the button object will be located uh, 0 0.1 in from the left so it'll be a tenth of the overall width across uh, from the left and also halfway up uh, in the middle so it should be left positioned left middle of the overall um, of the overall GUI so let's just show that and there's the second button that I've added so I can continue to add uh, objects in that fashion okay and uh, it's a relatively straightforward thing to do once you get your head around w how the position works okay so let me just shut this down and just reset this back to where we were so that was positioned at 0 and this one was at 0 0.3 now what I'm going to do is just run through the rest of this code laying out the uh, GUI and I'd recommend that you download this code from the uh, website and go through this yourself and just make sure you understand how to position things before really going on any further so I'm going to go through a few uh, additional videos uh, after doing the layout one one that deals with the handles to objects and objects are these things that we're adding to the GUI and then finally we'll deal with callback functions which are probably the trickiest part of GUI development um, so let me continue on and add on a few things. Uh, we'll add on an ellipse. Uh, this time I'm setting the position using a, a variable that I've created called ellipse position. Just notice that this is uh, an annotation that I'm creating. And uh, annotation is a built-in uh, function in MATLAB. And you can it allows you to add things like um, uh, squares, circles, uh, text arrows, basic plain text, it allows you to add those things. Uh, you can do a help on annotation to find out a bit more about it. But let's add the annotation. Uh, position should be the top middle and you should be just trying to make sure you understand the, uh, how the position uh, works. So it's got to rem remember the X and Y coordinates are the first two parameters and then the width and the height. Uh, let's continue to build up our GUI in that way. So now I've included a text box that we can use later on. We'll use it to control the color. And now we'll add in the slider, which is another UI control. And the UI uh, stands for user interface. So it's a user interface control. This time the style is a slider. And uh, the slider has values associated with it, uh, minimum being 0 0.5, the maximum being 2, and the 
default or the starting position being 1 and you'll see that the slider position starts off somewhere in the middle when I add it and the position 0 0.1 means it's over on the left hand side 0 0.2 means it's somewhere low down so it should be in the bottom left and again the width and the height okay so there's our slider parameter um, might just make it a little bit bigger so you can see the slider in operation and you can see that the position of the slider is somewhere in the middle as I move the slider down the parameter gets small and as I move it up this parameter gets larger okay uh, now one thing I haven't done yet is in some of the control objects there is this callback and that really deals with what are known as callback functions and I'll deal with that uh, in a third video on GUI de design and lastly I'm just going to add in the text component uh, which is uh, it's, it's a UI control I could have added this text as a um, annotation um, there are some additional features available by making it a UI control, but they're ones that wouldn't be used very frequently. Um, and its position is to the left and about halfway up. So let's just add that in. Okay, <coughs> so there we go. That's the step one of building a GUI. You want to be able to lay out your GUI and position the elements. Um, Again, I'm not using, there's a tool in MATLAB called Guide, um, which you can use to develop your GUIs and lay them out. Uh, this is my preference, doing it this way. Uh, being able to do things from the command line means that you can automate processes, and I just find it a much cleaner way of doing things. So um, I will see you in the next video.